seats under the Kerala counselling. Uh, we'll just quickly look at the seats under the Kerala state counselling. 50% of seats in the government medical colleges in Kerala come under Kerala counselling. All seats in the private minority medical colleges come under the Kerala state counselling. Everything is allotted together. All seats in the private minority medical colleges. You have Christian minority and Muslim minority medical colleges. All of them come under Kerala state counselling. Uh, Kerala calls it uh, self-financing institutes. Most of the southern seats states call them self-financing institutes. Note that uh, there's only one deemed university in Kerala, Amrita. Amrita seats completely come under the All India Counselling. They are not under the Kerala State Counselling. And uh, need PG percentile based qualification, SC, ST, STBC and PWD candidates within these categories. 40 percentile is the eligibility criteria. What you have given under uh, All India Counselling, you might have given OBC, you might have given uh, general category. That does not matter. Whatever is in your uh, all India need PG scorecard or your AEQ scorecard does not matter. As far as Kerala is concerned, you can apply as SC, ST, SCBC or PWD. If you have these certificates, SCBC, you need a state certificate and then you can apply. If you fall above 40 percentage, percentile, you are still eligible. General or EWS criteria, it is 50 percentile and general PWD or EWS PD, PWD, it is 45 percentile. Note that EWS is also different in Kerala. Kerala has a specific criteria for EWS, possibly a stringent criteria. You can just check on that too, uh, or for EWS. So there is a state EWS certificate for Kerala. There is a central EWS certificate for Kerala uh, for All India Counseling. Similarly, there is a state uh, certificate for SCBC based on the category that you belong to. And there is a central OBC certificate if you want to participate in All India Counseling. Both are completely separate. Eligibility for the seats for Kerala PG Medical, any one of these two categories you should fall under. Category 1 is Indian citizens of Kerala origin with an MBBS degree recognized by MCA. Now NMC, but MCA and any state MBBS or foreign medical graduates are also eligible. How is origin defined? Origin is defined as a person who was born in Kerala or whose parents were born in Kerala. You might have be, might be in a different state, you might be in a different country too, but if your born, parents were born in Kerala, you'll be still eligible for Kerala State Counseling. A birth certificate or a certificate which mentions the place of birth is required. We'll get to the certificates later. Candidates who you uh, the, here you can, would have done your MBBS from any state. Candidates who have completed MBBS from Kerala, they are termed as non-Keralites, whereas category 1 are termed as Keralites. Non-Keralites uh, are candidates who have completed MBBS from any one of the medical colleges in the state of Kerala, even if not of Kerala origin. So you might not uh, have any, uh, your roots in Kerala, but you have done your MBBS from Kerala under AEQ, under a management quota or an NRA quota in private institutes. All of them are eligible for uh, Kerala State Counseling. Only thing is they will be eligible under the general merit category or state merit. Yes, some seats only, not for other states. non Keralaite service candidates. I am not a Keralaite. Uh, service candidate are eligible for service quota too. So anybody who is in service, even if not a Keralaite, then they will be eligible. So that is for service quota seats.